This is how you use Laravel Scout with MailySearch and Redis. I have a demo application already created where I have a bunch of blog posts and I want to use this field to perform a search on those posts. First, you need to install Laravel Scout and you can do that with Composer Require Laravel Scout. Once Laravel Scout is installed, you need to configure your model where you want to perform the searches. In this case, the model is called Post. To make a model searchable, all you need to do is add the searchable trait, which comes from Laravel Scout Searchable. And optionally, you can define a public function to searchable array to configure the array that is going to be used for index searches. If you don't define this function, the entire model is going to be indexed in MailySearch. Next, we need to install MailySearch. The installation is very simple. If you're on Mac, you can use brew install MailySearch and then launch the MailySearch server using this command. So let's run brew install MailySearch. Also, a quick note while this is installing, if you are on Windows, you can either use Docker for the installation, download the latest binary in the download section, or simply use the curl installation if you have WSL installed. And now the installation is complete, so we can launch the server using MailySearch. If you run this command the first time without a master key, it is going to generate one for you, right here. But if you want to use your own value for the master key, just use mail search again and provide the master key value. In this case, I'm providing a value that was already generated for me. And once you do that, you have a mail search server running at localhost port 7700. Next, we need to configure both Scout and mail search. First, let's publish the configuration for Laravel Scout using the Sartisan command. I'm going to open a new tab for this and run the artisan command here. And in my case, the file was already created, so it's going to skip it. But if you run it the first time, it's going to create the file called config slash scout.php. Okay, let's take a look at that file. And starting from the top, you have the driver. We're going to add this to the .env file. And next we have the configuration for the queue. You want this value to be true because that way Scout is going to use the queue to synchronize the database with mail search. And in the mail search driver section, you have your host, which by default is HTTP localhost port 7700. And we also have an entry for the mail search key. If you remember that key was either generated for you if you didn't provide one, or you can use your own provided that the value is at least 16 characters long. And this is how my configuration looks like. We have scout driver set as mail search, scout queue set to true, and we also have the mail search key to this long value. Next, we are going to install Redis for the queue. In my case, since I'm on Mac, I've already installed this using brew install Redis, but you can follow the instructions for your own operating system like Linux or Windows. Now, keep in mind that this requires the PHP Redis extension, but the good news is if you are using Herd either on Windows or Mac, this extension has already been pre-installed for you. But if you're not using Herd and you don't want to deal with any of that, you can simply use the database driver for the queue. You can read about the prerequisites for using the database in the Laravel documentation. Now, since I have already installed Redis in my machine, I can open a new terminal and then start the Redis server. And finally, in order for the queue to work, I need to use this artisan command to start the queue worker. Now, if you're installing Scout on an existing project that already has records in the database, you're going to need to index those records into MailySearch. Locally, Laravel provides a handy artisan command for this. So I'm going to add another terminal and then run php artisan scout import and then the name of the model, which in this case is post. As soon as you run this command, all of your records will be imported into MailySearch. And you can confirm this by looking at the queue and making sure that this event is done. By the way, this event is going to be fired every time you make changes to your model, either by modifying records, adding new ones, or deleting them. And now let's take a look at the implementation of the search. What I have here is a full page LiveWare component, and this component has two attributes one collection for all of the posts, and then a string value for the search. 
Now down on the render method is where I am performing my search. You can do this in two ways. You can either use if else statements to make sure that the value of search is not empty. And if it's not, you can use post search, which is from Laravel Scout, pass the search value and then get the records. This search is going to be performed in mail search. And if the value of search is null or empty, then we simply return all of the records. But if you want to be a bit more fancy, you can also do it this way. You can use post query to return the query builder and then use when. The first parameter is the value that you're checking for. And if this value is present, then the callback function is executed. This callback function receives the query builder and the value that you are searching for, which in this case is search. Now, because in this function we are dealing with a query builder that does not have the search function available, we need to do this trick. Use the query builder and then call where in ID and then perform a post search with that value and return the ID keys. Internally, Laravel is going to use scout for this where in so there is no penalty in performance. And then at the end, we call get to return all of the records. And then in the view for my component, I simply use wire model live to wire this input to the search value in my component. Now, if we go back to the browser and use the search field, we can actually search for records by simply typing. And that's how you use Laravel Scout with mail search and Redis. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.